folks. Uh, man, this is going to be an interesting video. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys some other options to knife storage <clears throat> and things that I, <clears throat> excuse me, things that I'm currently working on right now. So what you're looking at here in the video is an old library cabinet. And it's, this is just an option. The good thing about this is that you have you have the ability to label, like let's say case knives or user knives or tactical knives or wilderness knives, whatever, and you can categorize them. You can line them with uh, some sort of felt or whatever, and you can place your knives in there. Easy access for them, because a lot of us knife collectors, we don't like to throw them in a roll and throw them into a safe. Uh, the beautiful thing about the world now is everything's insured, so if they do get stolen, uh, they are insured. You just have to properly document what you have. It makes it easy to document what you have like this. <clears throat> so this is a very uh, very good option for you guys. I picked these up for, uh, I think, 40 bucks. Uh, it depends what state you're in. Like if you're in California, something like this would probably go for about $300. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're nice. I'm going to refinish the top, uh, but they're absolutely beautiful. Really nice. And here's something that you can find all over the place. Um, I picked this up. <clears throat> I refinished it. It doesn't look like it, but I sort of antiqued it a little bit. It was really, I mean, this thing was trashed. It, it basically looked like complete junk and garbage, ready to go to the trash bin. But uh, what I did is I stained it, did a light stain on it, and threw three coats of uh, clear lacquer on it, and and hand buffed it, and it came out really nice. Uh, it looks good. Um, it's and what this is is an old silverware storage. Now a lot of people don't use these because a crook when they come in the house, what's the first thing they used to do? They'd walk in, they'd see your silverware package, they'd pick it up and they would leave or they dump it into their bag. Um, so a lot of these you can find in uh, antique stores, garage sales, wherever. You can find them all over the place. I picked this one up for seven dollars and I, I have a lot of user knives that I use around the house um, or when I go hiking. That's what I like to keep in here. And that's where I have <clears throat> all my I got my, like my Bravo one in there, uh, my Lawn Hunt free knife. I've got my Case hunting knife right here. And then I also have my GL Drew uh, knife. This is a beautiful knife. What a nice knife! And then the bottom is where I have the sheath storage, so you have all your uh, sheaths and all that good stuff in there. I also covered the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> put little rubber tabs that I picked up at uh, Big Lots um, to give it more of a more of a stance to it. But it's really beautiful, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll give you a nice close up of that. Really pretty. I'm by no means an expert wood finisher. I think I did this while I was babysitting my daughter. Just messing around. I might have missed a few spots. Maybe I should have done that. But it came out nice. I'm, I'm pleased with it. I kind of stopped halfway on the drawer. But you don't have to be perfect. The idea is it's really just a really convenient place to... Uh... Oh, and this felt gets really dirty too on these things. I took my blower uh, for my leaves, my leaf blower, and I cleaned it out with that. And it came out very clean. Very nice. But a real nifty way of storing your knives other than just throwing them into a drawer. Because that way you have easy access. Because a lot of people like to play with their knives and look at them and touch them. And that's fun. I enjoy doing that right there. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd buy tickets for that. Great. All right. So just some ideas for you. And I hope you guys enjoy this quick video. It is a quick video, isn't it? Maybe a little too quick. Um... Boy, what a, you know what video what video has gotten a lot of views is my darn uh, G3 video 
and boy, I'm telling you, um, just a lot of views. Well, I've been messing with this radio off and on. I'm just having a blast with it. It's a it's a skill that needs to be learned to understand how to use this, where to find the ham operators and all that stuff. And once you get really good, you can really pick up some really cool stuff on that. Um, so very easy to practice. I could show you a few things, but the best way to learn how to use a shortwave radio is to get one and mess with it yourself. And I'm going to tell you, this is a really great tool. It's something that's uh, uh, something that should be practiced, uh, especially when you go on like a backpacking trip. Uh, you you could pretend that you're doing a, a bug out uh, scenario, and uh, it's a good way of learning if you um, uh, have. Uh, you can see if you can actually locate the information that's out there. So, really cool. Been messing with that. <clears throat> uh, I've also been researching edible plants and different things like that. So I might come out with a video of me walking through the yard and showing how to identify and uh, prepare edible plants. So I might be looking into doing something like that. So y'all take it easy. Um, hey. Push the like button or the dislike button. Uh, that really helps out. Uh, subscribe. That really helps out. And uh, that's all, folks. Y'all take it easy.